Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Sunday. So we are back with another Homeworks candle review. And um, today I have for you my thoughts on Garland Berry. So I recently picked this up um, with all of the fall stuff that I bought. If you guys missed my fall Homeworks candle haul, I will link that video down below. This is actually part of the holiday collection. So this is not technically a fall candle, but I do feel like it kind of is very burnable in the fall. <laughs> but I think it's also great, obviously, through Thanksgiving and into the holiday time as well. Um, I was very curious about this one because for me, I I obviously really like gourmand candles and I was a little bit iffy on this one because I was afraid that it was not going to be um, maybe fruity enough. I kind of was thinking that the, basically the, the fur needle and the balsam was throwing me off and I was like, well, I don't know that I necessarily want another tree scented candle that just has like some berry notes in it. Um, because I already have some like tree scented candles that I really love from Homeworks. Um, Season's Greetings from last year probably being my favorite. Um, so I was hemming and hawing about this, but then I thought, you know what, I'm just going to grab it. I managed to get it on a day where it was on sale for like 36 bucks, somewhere around $36. The price has gone up a little bit again, not to the full price of $44.25, but it is currently on sale for $39.96. So I will put the uh, link to this down below if you're interested in purchasing it. Um, there is no free shipping happening right now, and this is it, this appears to be exclusive to QVC, so shipping and handling is going to be $5.50, which I hate. <laughs> I was hoping that maybe um, some of these holiday scents would start trickling into Ulta by now, but no. Um, Ulta has been restocked several times with the fall candles, and there were also a couple of holiday candles, like I think Fresh Balsam popped up on there, but... Um, I, I don't know what else is going to be coming to Ulta. I don't have any ends with homeworks or anything like that. So I don't, I don't, I don't know that information. I just basically check the Ulta website from time to time and see if anything new has popped up. Um, by the way, there is a, before I get into the actual review, I'm just, I'm going to share what I know. There is a today's special value with homeworks coming up on, I think it's actually on Halloween on the 31st. So keep an eye out for that. Um, I th I've heard that it's going to be something kind of fun and a little different. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be like mostly holiday scents um, because by that point, basically the end of October fall is over. We're all thinking about Christmas and the holidays at that point. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and let's go ahead and get into the review of the Garland Berry. So this does come in a set of two and it's the usual like regular packaging of the 18 ounce size in his classic jar. The lid is just silver. Um, it's, you know, like the regular lids that come with most of his candles. Um, so the notes read holly berries, blackberries, fir, needle, and balsam. So what I get from this is, um, to me, holly berries don't really have a smell. Like, I mean, I do a lot of um, holiday arrangements. I'm a florist, so, you know, I work with a lot of holly and different types of greenery, especially in December as I'm putting together, like, a lot of corporate orders. Um, I don't, holly berries don't have a smell. <laughs> so, um, really what I get from this is actually cranberry with a hint of currant, a hint of, like, a blackberry note, and then I do get some balsam in here and maybe a little bit of fur, but it's definitely more of a balsam scent. But it's mostly berries, you guys. Um, you're going to get like the tart um, holiday berries in this. Uh, it's really nice. It's very pleasant. I'm glad that I picked it up and I'm definitely going to enjoy the two that I have. I'm actually going to finish this one here for... October. I mean, I think it's a it's a very nice 
fall scent as well. Um, it pairs nicely with a lot of my gourmand candles that I have going on right now. So the other one, the uh, the second one that I have, I'll definitely say for December, because again, I think it's gonna go really nicely with a lot of my like homeworks holiday scents, especially season's greetings. I think this will also pair very nicely with my beloved Nest Holiday, um, which is such a beautiful scent if you haven't picked that up yet. But um, yeah, I think it's going to pair really nicely with those. Um, this is probably going to be like a one and I'm good type of set for me. I don't see myself stocking up on this particular one, but it's really nice. Here's the thing though. This does not have the strength and throw that I'm used to from most of my Homeworks candles. Um, the strength and the throw is only about a six for both. It's more of a room filling candle, not necessarily a house filling candle for me. And I have pretty good luck with Homeworks candles, like especially with the throw, they tend to travel really nicely around my house. I have this in my kitchen and I can smell it in my kitchen. I can smell it in my kitchen nook. I can smell it in my family room. And then it does start to travel out into the hallway that is to my left here. A little bit but it's not it just doesn't throw as well as some of my other homeworks candles which is kind of interesting and the strength I do think it could use some additional oop so yeah I, I wish it was stronger I'll just I'll leave it at that if if you are someone who is sensitive to really strong fragrances this might actually be the holiday scent for you because it's not going to give you a headache you can definitely smell it like you can walk into a room and you know that you are burning this beautiful kind of berry balsam scent um but it doesn't smack you in the face it's not headache inducing i feel like it's really guest friendly to be perfectly honest but i like a little bit more oof with my candles which is probably one of the main reasons why this is gonna be like a one and done kind of thing for me but I will tell you what Harry really got right with this one, and it's the wicks. These wicks are perfect. They are not too thick. They're not too thin. They they form um, kind of a smaller mushroom top. I don't think they burn hot enough to really give this the strength and throw that it needs, but it's got a really nice, clean, easy burn that is like super no fuss. I'm gonna show you guys the wicks right now. I'm gonna awkwardly move this camera. So I lit this about five minutes ago. You can see it's almost completely pulled out. And you can see that the wicks are like, they're tall, they're dancing. I only trimmed the little tiny mushroom tops off the tops of the wicks before lighting this up. Um, and that's it. Um, so these wicks, fantastic but this could either use a little bit more in the like fragrance oil department or maybe different wicks which i hate to say because they're so they're so perfect otherwise like they're just doing a really good job by the way that label is gorgeous um i love the label let's see i'm trying to balance this up and here comes penny um Oh geez, there we go. Uh, the label's gorgeous. It's got basically holly berries all around. Um, they actually kind of look a little bit like currants, but yeah, it's just basically like a wreath, a holly berry slash current wreath that goes around the candle. This is great, you guys. It's it's a really nice scent. Um, I'm glad I picked it up. I'm gonna enjoy it for fall and um, December but the one and done for me for sure. I'm very curious about the today's special value coming up. I'll definitely probably be snagging that. And depending on what it is, um, you know, I might grab multiples of that because I do really like the holiday scents that Harry puts out. So anyway, there you go. Those are my thoughts. I hope this review was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Again, I'll put the link for the candle in the description box and um i appreciate you guys taking the time to watch please subscribe if you're new and i will see you in my next video take care bye bye